Okay, so in today's math lesson, we're multiplying fractions again, except this time both fractions are non-unit unit fractions, which means the numerator, numerators are greater than 1. So we have 2 thirds and 4 fifths or 6 twelfths, whatever it is. Okay, so let's take a look at the first problem here. We have 2 thirds of 3 quarters, which means 2 thirds times 3 quarters. Now, they want me to draw a model of this, so I'll make a nice big model of what's going on here. And I'll start off with my uh, three quarters here. Doesn't matter where you really start, but I'm going to shade in my three quarters because technically, the way it's drawn, the way the problem is written, I want to take two thirds of that. Okay. Now I need. Here's my three quarters. I need to take two thirds of those three quarters. So I can split these into thirds. Okay. And I want two thirds of that. So here's one-third of that section, and here's two-thirds of that section right here. Now, the big question is, what does this equal? Well, I have one, two, three, four, five, six parts out of a possible. Now, to get the possible, the amount of possible parts here, I need to make sure all the pieces are the same size. So I'll just connect those guys with a dotted line. All my units are the same size, and I notice that I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12 total, and that reduces to 1 half because I can divide both of these by 6 over 6. I can divide this fraction by 6 over 6, and I, and I get 1 half. Okay? So that's the deal there. Um, what we're also doing, what we also started doing, is getting rid of the whole model scenario here. The kids are noticing something that's very, well, very obvious, I suppose. Once they get their answer, they say, Mr. Clee, what... Um, what if I just multiply the numerators and I just multiply the denominators? Well, yeah, you can do that too. So now we're starting to drop the models once they get the hang of what's actually happening. And they'll notice that uh, multiplying 6 times 10 is really saying I had uh, 6 sections crossed over with 10 sections, which gives me 60. All right, or 6 groups of 10 or 10 groups of 6. And uh, same thing with the numerator, 5 groups of 3, which gives me 15. And then that can reduce down a bit. Uh, we'll notice that I can divide both of these guys by uh, 15 over 15, and I wind up with 1 over 4 as a final answer. Now, some really clever kids are saying, now, wait a minute, Mr. Clee. This divide by 15 over 15 deal, I can avoid this, or, 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 part, or part of it anyway. Let's take the original problem here. And instead of multiplying right away, they notice that, hey, I can start reducing things or dividing portions of this out <clears throat> before I even multiply. And they're absolutely correct. They'll notice that there's a, a 6 and a 3 right here. And the 6 and the 3, they have a common factor of 3. So if I divide both of these by 3, I wind up with 1 over here, and I wind up with 2 over here. Now, the same could be true for these two numbers here. They share a factor, a factor of 5. So I can divide both of these by 5. And I wind up with 1 over here and 2 over here. Now if I multiply, I have a 1 times a 1, which gives me a 1. And I have a 2 times a 2, which gives me a 4. And notice they match. Um, and that's great. So whatever you want to do there, if you want to start reducing before you multiply, or reduce after the end, uh, after you're finished multiplying, it should, all be, it should all work out fine in the end. Now I just wanted to take a look at one of the word problems as well, because these get interesting. Every morning, Haley, she goes to school with a one-liter bottle of water. She drinks a quarter of the bottle before school, uh, before school starts, and then two-thirds of the rest before lunch. So let's take a look at this. I'll draw this one out. <clears throat> uh, she has a one-liter bottle. It's one liter. And she drinks a quarter of it. So I'm going to split this into fourths. And this is what she drinks. And this she does before school, OK? And two-thirds of the rest of the bottle before lunch. Well, two-thirds, this is the, what's left in the bottle is already split into thirds, which is great. So I want two of those thirds. And this is before lunch, the L before lunch, okay? Which leaves this guy here, which, uh, what, what's left in the bottle. Now, the first question is, what fraction of the bottle does Haley drink before lunch? That's these guys right here. That's this section right here. And we notice that's two sections out of a possible four. So she drinks half the bottle, two-fourths equals one-half. So Haley drinks 
one half the bottle before launch. Okay. Now this is an interesting question because you can really dive deeper into this question and say technically before launch she drank well these two but and she also drank this guy here before launch technically which would mean she drank three quarters uh, of the bottle so depending on how you want to read the question then, then you could have two answers there uh, part B how many milliliters are left in the bottle at launch now that's that's there's only one answer for that one that's this guy here this guy here is one fourth left of the bottle now that's important because we want to deal with milliliters here the bottle originally is one liter so I'm looking for one one fourth of this one liter in other words I want one fourth of a liter okay and I want that answer in milliliters well one fourth of a liter is one fourth uh, of now I want to convert this here into milliliters there are 1,000 milliliters in one liter okay so I really want one fourth of 1,000 now if I set that up I wind up with 1,000 times 1 over 4 or 1,000 over 4, which is 1,000, divided by 4. And if I work that out, my 4 goes into my 1, 0 times, it goes into my 10 twice. For 8, subtract, I get 2. I bring down my 0, this will go 5 times. For 20, I subtract, I get nothing. I bring down my next guy, 4 goes into 0, 0 times. For 0, I have nothing left. And here's my answer, 250 milliliters. Okay, so if I was to write this out, I would say that there are 250 milliliters of water in the bottle um, at lunch. And there you have it. Okay, folks? Well, that's the deal. Um, Thanks so much. Take care. Bye-bye.